Hey everyone, it's March of 2020 and here in the United States, groups of 10 or more people are banned. So now is a good time to uh, grab a board student, a couple of paper models that are easy to assemble and put something together that we can fly at the local schoolyard that's closed or campground. So uh, let's grab those supplies and get started. I have some of the major components laid out here for the kit. It comes with a very nice decal sheet. Uh, I call it an ECM. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's my kit, so I'll call it whatever I want. I want to start with assembling the motor mount. I have a marking gauge here to tell me where to put the glue on the stick so that it ends up in the right place in the motor mount tube. First thing you want to do is make sure everything fits properly. It may help to rub this ring on your fingernail or something like that or on a hard object. Give it a little bevel here to make sure that it slides into the motor tube without any problems. So once we check that, I'll put the glue on the stick and assemble that part. Put some glue on this and then come back and put a nice fillet on it and I'll show you what that looks like. After you have glued these centering rings on, just add a little bit more glue to the areas that did not receive any. And you can take your finger or a Q-tip or whatever you like, spread that glue around. That's what they call a fillet. The next step is to take the fin and alignment guide and tape it onto your tube and lightly make pencil marks at each indicator line here on both sides. After we do that, I'm going to take it to a door frame and strike a straight line on the tube. And that way we'll have an alignment guide to glue our fins on and our launch lugs and anything else that we need that needs to be straight. So just make sure it's a light line because later on we'll want to remove that or cover it with paint. So, and we don't want to mark up the tube. You can see I have the lines drawn on the airframe here and the motor mount is ready to glue in. Now I have taken a piece of sandpaper and lightly went around this edge here to knock off any burr and along this edge here to make sure that the motor mount slips in there easily, like so. The directions call for putting in glue at the three inch mark, which is about the length of this Q-tip here, and at the quarter inch mark, and then making sure everything fits right by pushing this cone in so that we can verify that everything is where it needs to be. Now I have marked these so I can take a piece of sandpaper and wherever the fin attaches, I'm going to lightly sand that. I want to make sure I can still see my mark, but uh, sand a little on each side of it. And if you have to, you can go back and remark that uh, if it uh, is hard to see. And then that way when I glue the fin on, uh, it will promote the adhesion right here and give me a little bit of room for a fillet. Sand a nice little bevel on each edge right here. It uh, makes the rocket a little more aerodynamic and it just looks nice too. On the next step, I'm going to use a sanding sealer, uh, apply a couple of coats on here. And what that will do is it will seal the grain and make the paint nice and smooth because the balsa tends to fuzz up a little bit when the paint hits it. This is not necessary, but it really makes your project look nice. After a good sanding, the fins are very smooth. Make sure you sand with the grain and don't forget to sand the root edge here with it glues to the airframe to make sure no sanding sealer is left on that. Wow, this rocket is looking great. As you can see, I have the fins mounted on here and then what we'll do is come back and put our fillets along here to strengthen the fins. I use super glue to attach them. I don't recommend it unless you are experienced with this and can work really fast. Otherwise, you just use wood glue and it takes a little bit longer. But make sure you come back and check your work. Last thing you want to find out is that one of these fins is off and uh, it spoils the project. So you just sight down along the rocket and uh, make sure that everything's nice and parallel as you go. And then just keep checking uh, to make sure nothing is shifted. That's looking good, let's start on the fillets. Take a look at this. This kit's about $13. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It took me about three evenings to put it together. It's a nice split fin design with plenty of decals. Yeah, it looks really sharp. This will look great on the launch rod and uh, 
anytime you're out flying with a group, it'll look great. So stop by my channel and check it out as I set this up on the launch rod and we'll let it go into the sky. Until then, we'll see you at the flight line.